Good morning from Lisbon. First meal of the day. Haven't really been to a seafood spot yet. And this place, one of the most popular seafood places in the city. Let's go check it out. We are inside Romero. This is by far the most popular seafood restaurant here in Lisbon. Anthony Burdin came here and I got what he got for dessert. This restaurant is ginormous. It's got three stories and they've been around since the 1950s and every single thing here fresh as you can get. Clams and garlic and butter. Barnacles, which is a must get here. They call this the edible crab. Look at this. All the best stuff from inside the crab is mixed. Some mayo with crab innards and crab roll all sitting on a shell. And this is the spider crab. You can see all that beautiful, gorgeous roll inside the crab. First of all, the little clams and wine and some butter and garlic. And they use giant chunks of garlic here. Look at that. I just want to jump into this little pot. I mean, the clams are so juicy and sweet. I'm all about that sauce right there. Luckily, they give you so much bread to dunk it into the different food items. Oh, it's so good. Ladies, these look like little fingers of the sea right here. So, eat a barnacle. Just twist it, break and twist on either side of it. It's because you're gonna break the outside casing and inside succulent meat. Mm. This stuff is so amazing. Oh my gosh. It's a little briny and sweet. Look at that. Mm. Very snappy, almost like a razor clam. And you really don't need any seasoning in this. And the briny has created such an interesting aftertaste that makes it so freaking addictive. But this is really expensive too, so can't eat too much of that. I haven't wanted to taste this since I saw the picture of it. I'm so happy this restaurant did not throw away the crab innards and submit it into something amazing. So here, you can eat the, either eat the meat on its own or dunk it right there into all that wonderful innards right there. Oh god, that's good. You can dump the crab or dunk the bread in. This is one of the best crab innards I've ever tasted. Oh, it is. Creamy innards with roll, some mayo, I think. Holy crap. You taste the creamy innards, and then right afterwards, as you continue to chew, you just get a shock of umami flavor. This, in my opinion, it's better than crab meat, but when you dip the crab meat in here, it adds a rich, savory, creamy, really deep element of flavor to the already fantastically sweet pieces of crab. I just out of this world. Next one to try is the spider crab. They did the same thing. Some roll, the innards mixed in, I think a little bit of mayo. Take a crab leg and just dunk that into the innards. Oh, the spider crab in has much stronger umami hit. And spider crab meat is denser, but very, very sweet. The any other crab I've tried so far. So you just get a very distinct flavor of brininess, savoriness, umami, and then just a pure, beautiful, sweet meat of the crab. Also, to give you a hammer, because you really don't want to miss out on any piece of the meat. I'll definitely be getting every single morsel out of the shelves. So far, so amazing at this place. The rest of the seafood has arrived. Check this out. Oh my God. Look at the size of this giant prawn. This is, this has just got off a grill. You can smell the smoke. You smell that char. And when I open this up, I gotta be careful not to leak any of that juice inside the head of the prawn. Oh my gosh. And this is the best part right in here. All that innards, the head of the prawn, 
This is the prom penthouse where all the flavor resides. Oh my god. That's a complete flavor overload. So much umami, so much depth, so much savoriness and sweetness all in one slurp. Go back to the body, look at that. I don't think seafood can get sweeter than this. Oh my goodness. Giant piece of meat. Grab a bite with some of the roll. That's a sweet smoky head. Dunk it into some of that sauce. The flavors of the seafood is so heightened by the way they prepared it, especially with that inner sauce. This is another place where amazing, it's just an understatement. All right, I gotta get to it before the seafood gets cold. See you in a bit. Dessert has arrived. Prego. It's a garlic steak sandwich, and there's, there's mashed garlic on here, and you put some mustard on this, so they literally smash whole garlic pieces on this. Put some mustard on, on a freshly toasted bun. Like I said, Anthony Bourdain, when he came here, ordered this for dessert, and this is why he is the greatest foodie to have ever lived. This is such a good idea. Only thing I wish was, I would have saved some of that crab innards dip to go with this, would have made this even better. But holy moly, this is good. I mean, the steak is just all sorts of tender and juicy. The mustard provides a great flavor contrast. The bread is amazing. Like I said, only regret not pairing it with the dip. So learn from my mistake if you're ever here. Try to contain yourself and not eat all of it. Save some for the prego. Prego. This place, amazing. One of the best seafood meals, like I said, one of the best seafood meals I've had in the world. Especially love the giant king prawn. That's probably the best king prawn I had anywhere. Love the barnacles. I mean, they may look like Ursula's fingernails, but so delicious. Well, pretty much everything here, including this. Amazing dessert. Hey, it's like the yellow brick road, except it's pink with umbrellas. So here at a restaurant called Varesis, and this place has kind of a cool concept. There's 22 food items on the slip of paper. They just bring all 22 to your table, and it's all you can eat. So there's stuff like uh, spiced olives, tuna, cream cheese, fried squid, black eyed beans with tuna. There's home dessert, Oreo sweet chocolate mousse, mango mousse, passion fruit mousse, and panna cotta. That's all including desserts. Only thing not included is your drinks. Six desserts on the menu too. Dishes are starting to come out. We got this little tiny table. So they really can only fit about a few dishes before it runs out of space. This is a, a green soup. They said there's no real translation for it. It's a Portuguese soup. Hmm. Oh, it's just like the cabbage soup that I got at McDonald's, but the McDonald's version had no salt. It's very thick and fatty. And I taste ham in here too. Ham and potato and cabbage. I think that's what's in here. Pretty good. There's bread, there's ham, cheese, tuna cream, garlic and rosemary butter, spiced olives, and this is black chorizo with goat cheese. Black chorizo with goat cheese. And it's seared, it's toasted. She's got such a nice sear. And the sausage just breaks apart in your mouth. What do you mean? It's rich. Oh, it's so rich. Oh my god, this is good. Mm. They also brought a plate of barbecue chorizo. The sausages in this country are so good. Some ham, ham and cheese.
breadish good. Tuna dip's amazing. Pretty much any seafood in this country is gonna be good. Rosemary and garlic butter. So basically these 22 items on the menu, these are all very classic Portuguese dishes. So you get to try out a bite of everything and then just refill whatever you want to get. That strikes your fancy. A lot of dishes just arrived at the same time in these cute little, little plates. So you get a little bit to try of all the different traditional Portuguese dishes. This is eggs with brown pudding. I don't know what the brown pudding is. Really soft egg. There's the fatty parts of a sausage in here. That makes it so good. Octopus salad. Mm. Yeah, definitely gonna get more of this. That's so good. One of the best dishes here. The octopus salad. Chickpeas. The chickpeas are so good. There's something else they put in here. I think there's some fish in here. This is cooked in olive oil. It's just remarkably buttery. I don't think I've ever complimented chickpeas before while they are still in their non-hummus form. Chicken gizzards. Mm -hmm. Nice and tender, gravy's a little spicy. Love that. This one, codfish. Mm. That's a really rich dish. I'm trying to go through these as fast as I can. It's kind of cold today and they're getting cold right now. Fried squid, giant piece of fried squid. I think it's fried perfectly. Beautifully crunchy outside, wonderfully tender. This is a little fried codfish ball. Oh, that's like a little fried codfish cake. It's kind of like fish cakes that I'm used to. Black eyed peas with tuna. Mm. Creamy black eyed peas. I love to crunch up onion. And when you take a bite of richer food, chase it with a little salad. Mm -hmm. Just brought those over. This is um, chunks of beef cooked in this thick, rich sauce. Cheese on top and some pickles. Mm. This is very, very rich. We have a tomato based sauce. Mm. It's delicious, though, especially with that creamy cheese on top. But this is definitely one of those dishes you gotta chase with a little salad. It just brought over some fried sardines and basically put it all in your mouth. So this is a lot of traditional Portuguese dishes in a nutshell. It's delicious. I gotta say, my favorite thing, probably the octopus salad and the chickpeas. So, so good. This is a really good place. If you are ever in Lisbon, you just wanna like that overall tasting of traditional Portuguese food. This is a phenomenal place. 19 euros, all you can eat. We haven't even got to desserts yet. This is pretty much buffet that's freshly cooked from the kitchen. And this tastes like homemade food, which it is. All right, gonna finish up and start reordering. All right, refill. Got more octopus salad. They give it to us in a bigger bowl this time. Mm. More black chorizo and goat cheese. Plus, the owner is so nice. Comes by, ask you if you want anything in a bigger bowl. And there's still dessert after all this. Dessert time, they brought out a whole tray of goodies. So there is mango mousse, passion fruit mousse, panna cotta, home dessert, Oreo sweet chocolate mousse. Mm. So good. That's so good. Again, um, like everything, you can repeat as much as you want. Unlimited, amazing desserts. Plus, this is just tastes better in a jar. They do. Mmm. That's the passion fruit. It tastes more like a passion fruit yogurt. This is the mango mousse. I love this so much. I'm gonna put this on a must try list in Lisbon. This is such a good place. So this is the panna cotta. Give you a little jam to go with it. Mm. That's so creamy. Home dessert. Condensed milk dessert with little wafers or crackers inside. And then this is the chocolatey Oreo. Mm. I think best thing, mango mousse, chocolate mousse. Best thing in a panna cotta. Not only is the food amazing, it's traditional too, which is something I adore. They also bring some alcohol if you drink. The service, especially the owner, freely as we experience in this country. The next day. This thing looks really flaky on the outside. Hmm. It has a super light, crispy outer shell. Inside is basically mashed potatoes and cod. 
and there's cheese inside this as well. You can get this with cheese or without cheese. I would recommend with cheese. Mm. This is definitely not cheap. It costs five euros for one fish cake, but it is very hearty. Cheese has good flavor. It's a great contrast between the extremely crispy outer shell and the potato and fish and cheese inside. I like it. Of course, before leaving the country, one more egg tart meal. I'm gonna miss this so much, I swear. This place, Mente Garia, best egg tart in Portugal. This is so good. They also, I feel like, toast the top of it more than other places. So you get that nice little bitter char. Well, honestly, egg tart is something like, back in the US, I could eat one, and I'm pretty satisfied, I'm saturated. Here, three of these, feels like nothing at all. All right, originally I wasn't gonna film this place because I filmed a lot of Citroen places already, but I found this place at a Citroen restaurant in Lisbon. It's so good. If you're craving for some Citroen food while you're in Lisbon, this is the place to go. Look at this. Spicy and nummy pork belly, pork belly with noodles. One of the best versions of this I've ever had. It's so garlicky, so spicy. Noodles great, pork belly is amazing. And it's not easy to find fatty beef when you're traveling, but I found it here. This is the fatty beef sour soup. It's so authentically delicious. Spicy, sour, rich, deep flavors. Again, hard to find fatty beef. This is very fatty beef. As much as I love the local food here, I mean, I just crave Chinese food. All Chinese people do. Wherever you go in the world, you want some Chinese food. Large, fatty intestines. Crispy and fatty. That's all I'm looking for. This might be one of the best Victorian restaurants I've had anywhere. That's definitely the best version of the sour fatty beef soup I had anywhere. I bet the other dishes taste amazing too. Again, I wasn't gonna film this, but people gotta know about this place. If you're craving Citroen while you're in Lisbon, this is where you go.